Hey guys, what's up? It's uh, your boy Mikey Bustos bringing you another video. Uh, this <clears throat> this vlog is actually about um, a newly found um, archaeo archaeological discovery. I say newly, but they've been working on the site for I believe 13 years. Um, well, what happened was in Turkey, um, a shepherd came across a uh, very very old old site um it, essentially it kind of was like a temple um you know and at first it was just a stone and he kind of unburied it and thereby came across the oldest known um site you know uh to that we've ever come across on the planet um turns out the temple is twelve thousand years old and um see the thing is in a previous um in a previous vlog i talked about how old the earth was you know inspired by a book that i'm reading um you know they say human the human race is about uh 100 to 200,000 years old and um our records only go as far back well previous to this site um we our records only went back some 5000 years ago you know um and uh any civilized man and documents or anything you know artifacts really didn't go past that you know um I, and the oldest before the oldest known site that we've ever unburied or uncovered or come across was a site in Mesopotamia but uh, now we've found this really old, old site, much older, by like 8,000 years, um, you know, 8,000 years older. Uh, and this is way before the pyramids, before any of that. Um, and it's, and they've called it uh, Gobekli Tepe. And it's a series of stones carefully, you know, uh, placed and fashioned stone columns, you know, that rise into the air 19 feet high um, and cert precise perfect circles. They've only uncovered about apparently 5% of all that's there. Um, and, uh, and carbon dating has shown, and evidence has shown that this site is 12,000 years old. Now, that's amazing. <laughs> the, and the, the great thing about this is it's obviously been fashioned by people with uh, highly involved tools. Uh, there were, you know, different statues and, and carvings um, of animals and that sort of thing. And a lot of the carvings and, and, and animals and pictures um, depicted kind of like something that might resemble a great flood, you know, a catastrophic flood, which, you know, goes back to the 2000 and so uh, stories about a flood, you know, in different cultures or whatever. Um, and it's just so amazing, you know, and it's, uh, it's kind of gr groundbreaking because it now is a real record of um, an advanced civilization existing that far back, 12,000 years ago. Now, if you really think about it, that's to totally crazy. Um, you know, m this mankind is a very old species, but... Uh, Coming across uh, something that existed 12,000 years ago is uh, definitely monumental for, uh, for us. You know, archaeologists have uncovered uh, an old gem. <laughs> and I certainly hope uh, they continue to learn more about that civilization there. Anyway, it also got me thinking about time, you know, and how much we really know. <laughs> You know, it, when you think about some of the wonders of the world, like, you know, the the, temp, the uh, pyramids uh, in Egypt, you kind of wonder, like, how could that possibly come together without, you know, the technology that we have today? But see, I think that's where it kind of gets tricky. How do we know that we are the epitome of advanced, you know? How do we not know that they civilizations earlier had long lost um, technologies? You know, we've found so many ancient, ancient artifacts that are machines that are that 
do complex things like calculate, you know, the phases of the moon and stuff and like complex machines that are thousands and thousands of years old. You know what I mean? When a civilization gets wiped out somehow, um, unfortunately, I would assume so would their, <laughs> so would their body of knowledge, you know. Um, so I just, I just find that neat. Um, I w actually came across a, and it's actually a very serious, I guess, field of study. Um, ancient aliens and interaction in extraterrestrials and interaction with humans from with ancient humans um, there's a theory that a lot of people now are kind of like accepting and becoming aware of um, and that's that uh, extraterrestrials actually came to ancient earth and interacted with humans and taught them medicine and shared with them technology and all sorts of stuff um, and you know the theory says that's how for example the the pyramids were born um, and uh, and I find that really interesting as well you know um, it's, uh, it's really comes to show you how much we don't know <laughs> about Earth's history um, and and about our our own history right anyways that's all I wanted to say. Thank you guys and uh, do take care. Keep searching for the truth. Take care. Bye.